her own so that she can empower other people and for her i think she would thoroughly enjoy reading hi everyone i'm asha balasubramaniam and welcome to my youtube channel so today's video is going to be a particularly interesting one because we are going to be combining my favorite series never have i ever with the books that i love so isn't that a perfect combination so i will be recommending books to the never have i ever characters on the show we will be picking about 10 characters and we will be recommending books to them based on their profile based on their likes and based on their list likes and also based on the situations okay so with this let's start off with the video so at number 10 we have trent Trent as you all know is like a very lovable character. He's a good friend to Paxton. He's someone who always hypes Paxton up like So for Trent, I would be recommending the book called Ikigai. The reason why I'm recommending this book to him is because like when there was a lull in the relationship between Trent and Eleanor, Trent seemed very uh, a little lost. He kind of didn't have an idea as to what uh, he's doing. Like he he lost his sense of purpose in life. So because Ikigai is the kind of book that will help him find a sense of fulfillment and find a sense of purpose in his life, I would recommend Ikigai to him. So I do hope Trent enjoys reading Ikigai. Uh Trent if you're watching this video, please do read it. <laughs> I know the real Ben Morris may be a very different character, but Trent if you do watch this, please read Ikigai. So at number 9 we have this So initially I loved this character a lot because when I saw him and Devi hit it off it felt like wow they just made a really good couple but later on as things progressed I didn't really like Dave much obviously because his mother kind of poisoned his mind a little bit but then for Dave I would recommend the book called Reflections of a Man by Mr Amari Sol The reason why I'm recommending this book to Dave is because this book teaches a lot about relationships and also about how a man should treat his woman right So this is a must read for all men so that they treat the women in their life right and also for all women just so that they know how they need to be treated and what exactly is the meaning of uh, being treated right So I hope they's learns a few lessons from this book because honestly I didn't like the way how you know like how he dumped Devi So Devi went through a very hard time in her life and obviously it's a very big event to her process right it's a very traumatic event so i just wish that they had held that space for her and you know probably understood more about that and and gotten along well with her so this is why i recommend this book to these so if you haven't read this book i think you should try it out too because i think this is a must read for everyone so this is the kind of book that i would rate it a 5 stars At number 8 we have Ethan. Ethan was a very flirty, fun-loving character who appeared on the show. And of course like I instantly took a liking for Ethan. Of course he belonged to the hot pocket. He was indeed very hot and charming. But then like I do not want to spoil things for you. I just felt that Ethan was being a little dishonest and you know what? I will recommend a very simple basic book for him. Tales of Jat uh Tales of Hitopadesha Jataka Tales Panchatantra these are very basic stories that would actually help imbibe some qualities in him which is what I would want if not for that particularly dishonest quality Devi and Ethan would have probably never broken up on that show so Ethan Jataka Tales Hitopadesha and Panchatantra for you okay up next the seventh one on our list Dr Nalini Vishwakumar a very um a character that i really admired for her strength and you know for being like one of the strongest pillars for almost everyone on the show she was a pillar of support to devi she was a huge support to kamla and also to devi's grandmother not just that in season 1 when ben was going through a hard time dr nalini actually invited ben over and also you know try to help him blend with the family and all of that so i think that like, personally nalini was a very lovable character on this show and for nalini just so that you know she is well taken care of and all that i would recommend the book called ps i love you by cecilia ahern the movie and the book are a little different so right now i'm recommending the book so of course the book is an amazing read 
In this book, a woman called Holly and Jerry, a couple, Jerry's the husband, Holly's the wife, they are very much in love with each other, but they do have fights in between, just like any other uh, healthy couple, right? And uh, Holly loses her husband, Jerry, to brain tumor. So Jerry already knew about this, so he makes sure that he writes letters previously, like before his uh, death, so that Holly lives a fulfilling life even after Jerry's death. So it was a very moving and touching story. I cried a lot while reading this, but at the same time, it you know it just made you realize that you know all that Jerry wanted for Holly was her to be happy. So since Nalini also faced the death of her husband Mohan, I felt that. Nalini did not really give herself enough time to grieve because she was always focused on raising her daughter, her clinic practice and also like I think like partly when she dated Dr. Chris, I think in season 2 or something, yeah, uh, Devi was a little against that so she broke up with Dr. Chris. So I think that if she had read this book early on, she would have probably avoided a lot of these pitfalls, she would have been kinder to herself and allowed herself to move on. So for uh, Dr. Nalini Vishwakumar, I would recommend P.S. I Love You by Cecilia Ahan. At number 6, we have our favourite character, Kamla. <laughs> so I really loved Kamla's character right from the beginning of the show. She's this very beautiful woman who doesn't realise how pretty she is and you know she's so highly capable, she just doesn't realise her potential. Uh, I still remember in season 1 when Kamla just came out, a cyclist just rides into a dumpster and then falls off by looking at Kamla because that is how beautiful she is. But not just that, she is a brainiac and uh, she is into the research field. I think she was working on her PhD, yeah, she was working on her PhD and uh, yeah. The only problem with Kamla was that uh, she never had a voice of her own. She always used to suppress herself because she wanted to live according to her parents, according to the society. And of course, later on, Kamla became a very strong character. I loved the character development there. But I feel that early on, if Kamla had read this book called Girl Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis, it would have helped her a lot. So Girl Wash Your Face is a book specifically to empower women. I loved how the tone of the writer is very casual. She depicts instances from her own life and uh, you know, the stories are very empowering. So I really loved uh, reading Girl Wash Your Face and I think Kamla should definitely read it too. So this is the book I recommend to her. At number 5, we have our dear Fabiola. Fabiola was a very, very sweet character. I really loved her from the beginning. She was an amazing friend to Devi and to Eleanor. Her character was such that it empowered her to bring in inclusion. In the robotics team, there were no uh, women in the robotics team. So she tried to bring women into that group by making it more inclusive. I think for Fabiola, something that will, a book that will really empower her is Girls Who Code. Since Fabiola was already an expert, I know that the book may probably be a little basic for Fabiola, but then the writer of that book, that is Reshma Saujani, she is a woman who empowers so many women, uh, so many girls to actually, you know, get into coding. This could be really helpful to Fabiola because diversity and inclusion was always something that she was passionate about and learning more about the writer and also how, you know, her thought process and how she navigated stuff and all of that that would really help her in you know establishing a space of her own so that she can empower other people and also if you are someone who is into coding like probably at the basic level girls who code is definitely a must read for you at number four we have the very dramatic cheerful and lovable eleanor wong eleanor is a little dramatic she's a little quirky in her habits and for her, I think she would thoroughly enjoy reading The Merchant of Venice by Shakespeare. What better than a Shakespearean novel, right? Especially since she's into drama and a lot of Shakespeare's novels are also adapted into that. The Merchant of Venice would be perfect for her. So in Merchant of Venice, you know there is a lot of drama that goes on. Antonio is someone who borrows money from Shylock and he defaults on the payment. But then Shylock is someone who demands a pound of flesh and, uh, to compensate for you know Antonio defaulting on that payment. How that situation is managed, it was very cleverly managed and the whole story set up, it was very dramatic and it was very engaging too. So I would definitely recommend this book to Fabiola. 
I'm sorry, Eleanor. I meant to say it was you. Because I'm 100% sure that she would enjoy this thoroughly. At number three, we have our dear Ben. So for Ben, I found him a little lost here and there. Okay, Ben, I'm sorry. We're all a little lost. His parents were too busy for him. At school, people considered him a dork and some of them actually ignored him. Um, he wasn't a part of the hot pocket. And so for Ben, I would recommend the book Najwa, uh, Welcome Home by Najwa Zabian. In this book, Najwa tries to teach you to find a home in yourself. Like she narrates incidences from her own life and uh, you know, it's, it's a very comforting read. So I would definitely recommend this book to Ben because I want him to find the strength within himself, find a home within himself. And if you are someone who is struggling with that too, I would recommend this book to you. And also you can follow Najwa Zabian on her Instagram. Her posts are so therapeutic. She puts out quotes every now and then and they are very therapeutic. So this is the book that I would urge every single one of you to read. At number two, we have our handsome hunk Paxton. I really loved Darren Barrett. Uh, I mean the role that he played as Paxton. Paxton was... Uh, he really belonged in that hot pocket. He's someone I've been admiring from a very long time. There is a movie that he played with Nina Dobrev. I forgot the name of that movie. It is Love Something. Yeah, but I really enjoyed that movie as well. So not to drift off to Darren Barnett, but then let's come back to Paxton. Paxton found a friend in Trent and I always adored their friendship. So recently I read this book called The Kite Runner and I know it's been like everywhere but I took my own time to read this and I absolutely enjoyed reading that. It is uh, The backdrop is that of the troubled times in Afghanistan and also one of the major aspects of this book is the friendship between Amir and Hassan. So since Paxton is a good friend to Trent, I think that he would appreciate how this friendship pans out. Of course, like this friendship goes through testing times and all of that. But then I think he would definitely appreciate a book that has a, uh, that has a very meaningful element of friendship in it. I'm going to be making a separate video on the Kite Runner book, like providing a full review to that. So I'll be withholding some of the information here. So with that, let's move on to number one, Devi Vishwakumar. So Devi always wanted to be the hot and happening person in high school and uh, she never really saw her strengths. Of course, Devi went through a very traumatic event and uh, life I feel was very unkind to her. But then I also felt that without Dr. Ryan's help and without her friends being so supportive and her mother too, Devi would have probably never realized the potential within her. She failed to see herself as the gem that she is. So I would like to uh, recommend the book Love on the Brain by Ali Hazelwood to her because in Love Hazelwood... <laughs> okay, I meant to say in the book Love on the Brain. The story is about two people who, who start out as enemies and then end up as lovers. And I'm sure this would be a very enjoyable read for Devi. This doesn't mean that she ended up with Paxton or with Ben, though she kind of had her fair share, uh, share of bad blood with both of them. And some amazing memories too. But yes, I'm sure like Devi would find this as an amazing read. And if you haven't read it, it's a very lighthearted book. You should read it too. So this is the book I read after Ali Hazelwood's Life, a Love Hypothesis. And I love both the books. So I would definitely recommend Love on the Brain to Devi. And with this, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Thank you so much for watching. I wanted to restrict this video to 10 characters. Of course, there were other characters too who were very impactful like Anisa, Mr. Shapiro. Manish and Devi's grandmother so a lot of characters were very impactful but I just wanted to restrict this video to 10 characters so if you have any recommendations for this never have I ever characters drop in your uh, recommendations in the comments below and if you want me to make shots on any of these characters I would be more than happy to do that so drop that too in the comments below thank you so much for watching please consider subscribing to my channel because that would be very motivating for me to make more videos like this Thank you so much and have a great day. Stay happy, stay blessed and stay kind. Bye.